Hello, you guys, and uh, welcome to maybe the beginning of a new series? I don't know. I, I literally know nothing about this game, but uh, some of you guys recommended it, and we're like, oh, you, sh you should check out this game called Empires of the Undergrowth, and I had never heard of this. Um, had no idea it even existed, but it's actually a game about ants, and so I thought, oh, oh well, that sounds cool. I'll take a look at it. Uh, I have never played this before, <laughs> so you'll have to bear with me a little bit. Uh, so, uh, thank you for downloading Empires of Undergrowth Underground Demo. There is no in-game tutorial yet, so if you haven't played before, we recommend looking at the tutorial video below. You can click this, it'll take you to a link where they give you a brief tutorial on what to do. I just watched that. <laughs> so, uh, hopefully I have some idea of what I'm doing, but we'll have to see. Uh, Empires of the Undergrowth is work in progress and continues to evolve based off player feedback. If you would like to join in the discussion about the game, follow the links below. We would love to hear your thoughts. Uh, so I'm going to give this game a try for the first time. I have no idea what I'm doing, so please bear with me. If any of you guys have played this game before, you might be like, Jay, what are you doing? This is so stupid. But I have never played this game before. So, uh, yeah, I might make some stupid mistakes. Bear with me as I learn. Uh, so as far as I understand, this is a game about ants where you control an ant colony, and I think it's like a nature documentary style, so that's why we have this camera here. And I think we might have a commentary, like, nature documentary style commentary in this, but we'll have to see. So, I think we can s hit start. I think we have to go to critters. Let's try critters and just see. So, uh, consume all nearby critters. Alright, it's kind of low resolution. Can I turn that up? Options. Uh, window. A graphic preset. Let's go. Let's try and turn this up. <laughs> I haven't changed any of the settings yet. Let's go. Okay. There we go. All right. So we can move around using a WASDA. So I think this green stuff here is food. It's, that's what they said. And then this uh, red exclamation mark is an enemy. So right now we have some worker ants, and we have. I think those are these are these light things are eggs, I believe. So what we have to do now is we can we can click on an area like this, and it will mark it for clearing, and the ants will come and clear it. So you can see they're going to go tunnel that out. And then we can build things. Let's... Oh, I don't have enough food for that. Okay. So I think we have to tunnel this way and get to some of this food. So that we can... Uh, oh, oh, it's already open. Okay. So let's see... And we can drag our ants in here, in this group, and then I think we can tell this group, if I click that, can I tell them to go get it? I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing. How exactly? They talked about this sort of in the tutorial. Oh, I can right click. There we go. Um, I'm going to try and explain the controls, so they'll take that and put it to food storage, and then we can, I think we can actually, okay, we don't have enough food yet, but we can actually build more food storage, and then when we have food, we should have more space. So they're gonna come and get some of those. And there we go. I'm gonna expand our food storage to that. And then probably dig out these areas as well. So we can also we have worker ants, and we have um, soldier ants, or black ants, I guess. So the, they say those are soldiers. And that will help us when it comes to stuff like fighting these. Okay, we can zoom in and out. This is kind of cool. <laughs> uh, thank you guys for telling me about this, because I had no idea this game existed. And uh, it's because of you that I even know this was here. So let's see. Let's have them clear that away. I'm going to have them clear this out. I would like to have a lot of room to maneuver. Oh, I guess we can't clear all of these tiles. It looks like there's some. These I don't think we can clear. So let's try and tunnel out this way and get to some of that food. And then we gotta be kind of careful. So I think these tiles here are stone and we can't move that. We gotta be kind of careful because of this. Um, that is... Okay, what are these guys doing? Oh, okay. So I'm gonna move them out of that group. And they'll leave that alone, I think. There we go. They checked in and then they'll come over here. So it's a little bit, little, little bit of a learning thing. Like I said, they don't have a tutorial just yet. Uh, they just have the video, so they don't have an end game. But hopefully that will uh, come out soon. Oh, come here, you guys. Oh. We, oh, we can, yes. There we go. Clear out this area where there's some food. And they say, depending on the creatures you can beat, oh, here's food and creatures. Sometimes they will give you food. Uh, so let's get that. I'm going to take 
some of these and I'm gonna put tell them to get the food here because we have food storage we have 196 food out of 400 food uh, so we can actually put in more food storage here and then I think what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take this area where the food is right now and maybe turn it into a nursery area so we just have expanded our food storage greatly and then I'm gonna mark all these tiles for clearing. Let's see, let's have them clear it out. There we go. And we'll start building like a nursery area here. So let's see, there we go. It looks like they put lights in from time to time, which is nice to see. Or maybe that's just where they're breaking it. I don't know. So I'm gonna build, I'm gonna make this to a worker nursery. I don't want to build too many because it takes quite a bit. It's here, it costs 25 food to place and five food to hatch. And this costs 50 food to place and one food or five food to hatch. So let's see. I'm gonna build several of these so that we can expand our colony. And then oh good. Oh see, we're getting a more we're getting more workers. However, our food has now gone down drastically, so we need to go get more food, and I'm gonna have them just tunnel out this way. And it says there's more food up here. And then we can actually tunnel out, oops, I can't, can't click and drag on the screen, apparently. We might have some of them tunnel out this way as well and get to some of this food. This is pretty cool. It's kind of, it's got a certain feel to it. Okay, there's an enemy up here. We gotta be kind of careful. How big is this map? quite big it looks like uh, or, or fairly big at the very least so I'm gonna actually take this and have these guys go to the markers so these are like scent markers I think uh, the way ants kind of communicate and uh, work together and let's see if we can get a group to go up here too because there's some more food I, I don't know if they've implemented renewable food resources yet or not but we will have to see so let's see, we are getting close to some enemies. So I want to be careful with that. So let's actually have, are these guys? Let's have this group go over here and get food. And um, I'm gonna put these ants in the green group and have them come up here and get food. And then I'll probably start getting uh, some more food. So I don't think you use food passively either. I'm not sure, but I haven't noticed it going down. Um, and then this room up here, I think I'm going to turn into a soldier ant nursery, nursery the, for the black ants. And maybe, let's see. And they say if an ant dies, if you have an egg on the tile, a new one will respawn. But you can have a maximum. So like right now, our maximum is uh, 15. So you can see workers out of max workers. And then we don't have any soldiers yet. So uh, let us see. I think these are our original egg tiles where we can have the eggs down there. Uh, it's a really cool game already. I, very, very cool. So I want to get some soldiers in before we go try to fight this, but that will probably be pretty soon on our list. And uh, let's see. So these guys are almost done clearing out the food. And we can go quite far in this direction as well. I don't know what kinds of enemies there are too, but this is very, very cool. Uh, definitely, definitely liking this. I'm gonna go ahead and place down some more workers because then we can send some to get, we'll, we'll get another group going and we'll send some over here to collect this food as well. So they're gonna have to, I think, move, are they gonna move the eggs? Oh no, it's putting more in this group. I don't want them to go in this group though. Um, dragging and dropping, but I don't want, I want them to go somewhere else. Maybe if I do this and I put more, will it give me a bigger group? Um, I still have quite a bit of food, so I don't really want, uh, care too much about how I'm spending some of it. So if I have the blue group selected, nope, they're going to come in. Okay, so I have to have, no? Why are they all selected here? Maybe it's because it's, I don't know. Huh. I don't know. For some reason they're all going in this group. I'm not sure if that's intended or not. 
So I'm gonna maybe drag... I wanna split the group. Can I... No, I can put their marker over here, though. Um, so I'm gonna... We've got quite a few food, food spots. And then I'm gonna go to build. And I'm gonna put in some spots here. Not too many, because we don't want to use up all of our food. Let's see. Um, buildable tile enhancements. Coming in a future build. Place pheromone marker. Remove tile and permit. Okay, so right now we can't remove them. So let's get our soldier ants going. And we have... Okay, black ants. Okay. I think these are our soldier ants. Okay, they're hatching now. I'm going to destroy this much. And go have... I'm going to send... I'm going to put these guys in green group. And then once they get over here, I'm going to put... Okay, I'm going to probably move these guys because they are uh, working. They're kind of just passive. It's hard to manage the mate ones. I'm going to take this group and put them over here. There we go. And we have soldiers again. And I may have... I may take this and expand our food storage area a little bit. Just a little bit. And let's build some food storage. Apparently we still have ants available for this, so that's good. Let's build up a nice little area here. This is cool. So I want to show you guys some of the fighting, too, because we haven't gotten to that just yet. So here we can have... Okay, now we have a lot of food storage. <laughs> we should be just fine. And then maybe we can dig this area out. And uh, make sure that we can get to this food. And we're getting quite a bit of food, too, so that's good. I'm going to select this and try to place down some more, uh, some more ants. Just some more of the normal ants. Which group are they going in? I want them to go in orange. Maybe they go to the nearest pheromone marker? I don't know. We'll see. So hopefully they'll put some uh, eggs down soon. I think they're still going to... Are they still going to green group? I want them to go to orange group. It might be a little bit buggy too. So to get to this enemy, we'd have to go quite a ways. There's three enemies there, but there's one up here. And that's, I think, where we're going to go. I'm going to put soldiers in blue group. So, let's see. We've still got... I have to... I think I have to put new markers in from time to time, possibly. Uh-oh. Oh, no, they're up there. Yeah, I can put one over here. And hopefully... Yeah, these guys are still working. I'm going to put in some more soldier ants. So we have quite a bit of food. There we are. It's going to take a little bit, I think. Oh, uh, they're gathering food still. Which is good to see. There's also enemies quite near to here. What is all the way over here? How did this get dug out? Are these guys tunneling on their own? I hope not. Uh, I'm gonna take this and actually have them help out here. And then I'm gonna send our soldier ants out here. I don't know how some of these tunnels are happening. <laughs> that worries me slightly. Because some of them are quite close to enemies. Like, good golly, what is this? I'm a little worried about that, you guys. I will admit. Um, okay, they're getting some more food. And then I'm going to remove these guys and let them go do jobs. Because they should be able to go do some jobs over here then. And uh, we have quite a few workers, but I want some more soldiers. So that we can go take on whatever this is. Let's see, so these guys should all come over here. We've got more hatching. And I'm gonna put these guys in too, because then we'll have 36 ants and we should be absolutely fine. So these guys will dig. Oh, um, okay, okay, we're fighting now, okay. 
Uh, scent marker guys, scent marker guys. Guys, help. <laughs> um, okay, we need more ants. We've got definitely got enemies. So are some of these guys dynamically tunneling too? Okay, we've lost some ants, but a lot of them are reappearing. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> and, uh, okay, so we did that. So we lost a few ants, but I think for the most part... We're okay, so I'm actually gonna put these guys back in green group. I'll put these guys in orange group. And uh, let's can we remove that marker. No, 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 green group, go back. Um, let's remove this. I wanna remove that marker. I wanna, how do you remove a marker? Can you dismiss, okay. Right click on marker. There we go. No, what? I can't right click on the- no, wait, what? I don't even know what's happening here. Alright, so... We took on that. I'm gonna have- I'm gonna take these guys out of a group. I'm gonna have these guys go and expand our nursery area. Because I want to get more soldiers. And we're doing alright with food. These guys are digging out that area. And let's put in some more soldier tiles because I want to take a war party. And, uh, okay, so it removes the food right away so you can actually see dynamically how much you have. And these guys are still giving me more food, so that's good. And there's more food over here, so we gotta be careful because sometimes we break right into caverns. Um, okay, I'm gonna put another soldier ant tile here. Well, okay, or not. No, I'll leave that there for now. And then let's take, okay, we have the 22. I'm gonna actually bring those guys. Where is a group of things we can fight? We could come over here and fight things. I'm gonna put a scent marker over here and I'm actually gonna stick these ants in because we want to have something we can clear the tunnels with. Is there more food we can gather? I don't think there is yet. So I'll just stick these guys in this group as well and have the entire force go over here because there's going to be more food and uh, there's going to be enemies. So we have 30 ants at this marker and it's still going up. There we go. We're going to keep digging carefully. What I don't want to do is break into this by accident. And I'm a little concerned we will because I don't think even with that many ants we'd be ready for it. Okay, here, come on guys. We gotta fight things. Oh, that ant's gonna die. He's gonna die. Yeah, he died. But these guys should die pretty quickly. There we are. Oh yeah, these guys are gonna go down. So we have... We barely lost any ants. And then... Yeah, I'm gonna put these guys in green scent marker. And then put that marker there. And then these guys... I'm gonna bring down here now... Hopefully this won't be a little bit too much for us to take on. Uh, but I kind of want to... I'm probably going to wrap up the video here. It's a very cool game. And if you guys want to see more of it, let me know. Uh, but I'm going to kind of wrap up the video here. But before we do, let's see if we can uh, have a pretty large fight here. So we'll get everybody coming. Alright, not yet. So let's get everybody up here. And uh, literally everybody. <laughs> and, uh, alrighty. We'll see how this goes. Hopefully it's going to be a lot of smaller enemies, but we could die epically. Oh, good gracious me. Um, let's get everybody here to fight. Uh, I don't know how that's going to work. We may lose quite a lot of our ants. Um, oh gosh. Okay, we, we killed one of them. There's a lot of these centipede things. I don't know if they're like the only enemy in the game or not. Our ants are doing okay. <laughs> We've lost some of our soldiers and some of our workers, but the cow- Oh, we're lose we just lost a lot of soldiers. That's not good. The soldier count is going back up though. So we have some more hatching it looks like as well. Oh, I think we might be able to do this maybe. I don't know. We have- there's a lot of these things. Good gracious. Um, yeah, there's an awful lot of these things. So far, though, I think we're taking them down slowly. This is fascinating to watch. Can I get- I can't even get closer. 
there, we're, we're doing this slowly. And we have a lot of our ants are hatching and coming back, so that's good to see. These guys are like guarding a huge food supply too. I think we should almost be through. There's only like three left. Oh, I think we've I think we've about done it. Have we about done it? Yeah, I think we did it. Oh, you guys, we actually did it. We took them out. So let's put this marker here. And let's see. So we have group, oh, we have group one, group two, and group two, three. So I'm actually, I'm gonna bring our soldier ants in here. And then I'm gonna have blue group start tunneling to get some more food. Because if we took that on, I think we can take on pretty much anything else this map has to offer. <laughs> And uh, we'll go ahead and do a little bit more. We'll probably wrap up fairly soon. There's more enemies up here. Yes, and more food. And more enemies and food. Uh, but we've got a lot of food here. And no, no, no. I want blue group to come over. Oh, goodness. Oh, what have we done? What have we done? Blue group. Blue group, we need you guys. Um, we, we have an enemy. <laughs> we have an enemy. And we gotta be careful because sometimes we break into these... Uh, there we go, got it. Okay, that wasn't too hard. Sometimes we break into these things without even realizing that we've done it. Alright, these guys are almost done. They have just a little bit more. There we go, and we'll send them over here to... Oh, they already got the food. Okay, so let's... I'm gonna put these guys back in this group. And we'll have them start tunneling this way, and we can totally dominate this map, I think. Oh, we don't even... Well, yeah, we do for food. Uh, but these guys can start- oh. We can't break the- that, though. But we can go this way, and I think- I'm gonna get blue group over here. But I think we have more enemies, and you know what? I can- we can even, um, I'm actually gonna just take a brief detour here, because we have so much extra food that I want to expand this area again. So let's get everybody over here to help. I want to get more soldier ants. So let's have everybody come. <laughs> it's quite the swarm. It's starting to look like a real ant colony. And let's see. Here we go. So there's other... They, there was one other level in this game, too, for now. We could come back and do that. But this is a very good start. I'm really excited to see where this game goes. Alright. Uh, we're using quite a bit of food, but we're getting lots and lots of soldiers. So let's get them all going, and then we should have up to 42 soldier ants now. Uh, so that's pretty good. Let's see. Alright. So I'm gonna wait for some of them to hatch, maybe? Well, I think- oh, this is- this is our queen. And I think she lays eggs at a certain rate. And then depending on where the open places are, that's where they put the eggs. So for now, let's bring blue group over here. Yeah, let's bring them over here. And then I'll leave these guys behind to uh, keep moving eggs and stuff. And then we'll send these guys to come fight this. All right, let's get the, this whole group up here. Because too many of them are checking in at the old pheromone marker. And we should be able to just take these guys down. We lost the soldier already. Here we are. I think we're taking some of them down. And I think we have more soldiers hatching. Yeah, we have more soldiers hatching. So that's good. These guys are going to take almost all that food by the looks of it. Can we get all the food? Once we get all the food, I think we'll start tunneling again and work our way through this little complex. And we'll have some of them go get that food. There we go. There we go. They've all got that food. So let's tunnel up. Oh, here we go. Oh my gosh, what is that? Uh, you guys, I think we need help. Help, 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 help. Ant colony, help. <laughs> uh, I need the rest of you guys to come help because I do not know what this is and it's killing us. <laughs> um, maybe it's not killing us as badly as I thought, well, somebody just died, but we definitely need this whole ant colony. Oh, yes it is. It's doing, it's doing work. <laughs> um, oh goodness. Um, oh my... What in the world? What is it even? I don't know what it is. I wish I could see what these things are. I wish it would, like, tell us. Um, yeah. Oh my gosh. That's, like, spraying something at us. 
Was it like a bombardier beetle maybe or something? Did we get it? Oh, we got it and it dropped food. Oh, wow. Oh, that's so cool. And then I think, yeah, the soldier ant nursery is coming along. Maybe I'll have some of our ants clear out a little bit more space so we can add some more soldiers in and get an even, uh, even larger army. And hopefully this won't uh, lead us into any extra uh, dangerous areas or anything. But we can get a few more soldiers at least. Let's put some of them down. Oops, that's the wrong button. Let's put some of these down. And there we go. And let's have, I'm going to go back to blue group and have them come up here. No, I want to put a thermal marker. There we go. And then we'll start making our way in here because there is another uh, thing of enemies. Maybe I shouldn't have spent quite so much food because I am, um, we need some food for respawns. That takes five food for per respawn, but hopefully this will be... You know what? Actually, maybe we shouldn't do this. Let's not, let's not, let's not. Let's go to this one up here, or one of the places that actually has food, because I think that might be three of the large enemies. Let's come up here. Because there is a lot of food up here. And uh, let's see. We've got, oh, I think that's the ants on target to it. So yeah, we're really doing pretty well, honestly. So we got a whole group coming here, whole army of ants, and let's start digging out some of this area. Some of them can gather up this food. There we go. There's enemies on the way though. Let's get that marker up here and get these guys to fight. So the darker colored ants we have are the soldiers, and we have about 40 of them, and they should probably make short work of these guys. Um, hopefully we won't take too much damage. We've got, oh yep, yeah, there goes one, and there goes another, and there goes the last one. So we'll have quite a few of these guys come and gather that food, and then uh, let's go up this way and see if we can fight these guys. Hopefully. Hopefully we have quite a few ants that are on their way back, I think. And, um, let's get that marker over here. Because we've got enough ants over here, I think, that we'll be able to handle. Yeah, it's just one guy. Come on, let's get that marker up here. There we are. And uh, they should, oh yeah, he, he won't last long. Oh yeah, he's already down. And uh, they already got all that food too. <laughs> Man, yeah, we do have quite a bit of food, so I think I'm going to actually go and uh, put in some more soldiers. Not a huge amount, probably. I want to leave enough food for respawns, but we're getting quite a bit more food. There we are. There we go. And then we should have still have quite a bit of room for respawns. And then a bunch of ants over here can dig through here and hopefully into another chamber. Yep. And there's just one guy here we can fight. This is really cool, honestly. Uh, very engrossing, too. And uh, they all that food we can get. Do we get the enemies up here? There, we got all the ones up here. What we have is these guys, which I suspect are gonna be three of the very tough guys. And I think they're the last enemies on this map. So let's get this whole group set up right over here. And uh, hopefully our um, we can get some of our new soldier ants hatching. And then we should have quite a bit of food for respawning. There we go. Yeah, this is really neat. Alright, so they have eggs. They have lots of eggs. And let's get the whole group. The whole group is slowly assembling. And let's gather up this area. Oh, yeah, it's three of the really tough ones. This is gonna be like a boss fight, I think. Um... These guys are gonna do some damage, I'm a little bit afraid. <laughs> uh, let's get all of them to come this way. We should have quite a few en route here. We're losing several workers, but the soldiers are still doing pretty well. Well, we are losing some soldiers now, but we're getting more. 
Um, we have enough food so that I'm not overly concerned about respawns. It's just how quickly those respawns can get here. Yeah, these guys are doing some damage. <laughs> um, yeah, they're definitely doing damage. I think... Did we kill one? We killed one! Okay, so we just have two left. And then I think after we beat these guys, I'm going to go ahead and uh, wrap up for now. Because uh, we've pretty much taken on this whole map. But if you guys want to see me play more uh, Empires of the Undergrowth, then uh, let me know. And we can definitely come back and take a look at some of the other uh, scenarios in this. And I think, yeah, we just killed all of the enemies here. Oh, yeah, okay, well done. Your colony has consumed all of the devil's coach, horse, beetle, larva, and beetles in this area. Oh, that's what it is. We are interested on in hearing your thoughts about this build. Let us know by following the feedback link below and leaving us a message. Okay, cool. Uh, so that is going to wrap up this episode for now. Uh, please let me know if you want to see me play more. There is, I think, another one if we go back to the main menu. Um, if we hit start, yeah, there's the nest. And then they have a backers level. And then there's one called Surrounded. So uh, please let me know if you want to see me play some of these other ones. I'm not a backer at the moment. I don't know if it's too late to do that. Um, I don't know if I could do that or not. But possibly. If you guys really like this video, we could take a look at it. And uh, let me know if you guys want to see more. And uh, go check out this game. We'll put the link to it in the description. It is still a beta game. Uh, but it seems like a very, very cool start. Uh, so thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay. Over and out.